Hello everyone, Vixer here. Welcome back to Tell Me Why. I told you chapter two wasn't far off. We're already there. I'm ready to go. We're hopping on in. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Okay. I don't do anything here, do I? Crafty no. goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long-gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. So what is the darkness then? Also, aren't we breaking into the police station tonight, I think? <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. That's a lot of ice cream. That's a, that's a lot of ice cream. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. See, this, this point in time looks very normal. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Right? Ollie? What a waste. She wastes all that ice cream? Oh my god. I mean... Allison! Ollie! Why not? Allison, help! So we're gonna get a different angle here. Okay. 
So I know it seemed that maybe there was something behind Holly. But from that angle, there wasn't. Also, where's the Mad Hatter? secrets okay so that that didn't really reveal anything new as far as the murder goes we saw it from Allison's point of view but it didn't show anything new that we didn't know oh no copyright all right I'm probably gonna replace this too to sell and they're lollygagging doing all right I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives you know and instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy <laughs> wait is that a reference okay the music's still going so no. I got it we're not letting ourselves do this again come on up my numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip? Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. That's what I said. It's all going in the trash. Okay. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can is, well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. So. 
very loud seagulls out there. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Wait, I don't understand why I would. We ate way too much expired food on this table. Oh. <gasps> oh god, that's what's that smell? Oh God. Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or it could have been Stinky Pants Sam. <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Thanks for sharing. You hungry? <laughs> we have a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. No pickles, ketchup, maybe? Why? Sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -hmm. So good. Uh, that sounds like too much, yes. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. I guess I'm getting a little bit of lag here. Uh, this is just the cake recipe. I don't need to, I don't need to read it. So what exactly? I'm just, there's just random things around the house I'm putting stickers on. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Um. Maybe someone could clean it up. It's well made. Your call. Keeping it. Am I gonna be limited with the amount of things I can keep? I don't understand. The point of this. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. It's supposed to whiff directly. It's supposed to waft it. Why are you following me around? Don't you have your own stuff to check out? Can I not click up? There it goes. Okay. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. What am I putting in here? All trash? All right. I guess. Yeah, it's weird. I'm, I'm getting the stuttering, but my frames are fine. I don't know what's going on. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. Did she? She didn't. Did she? All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. There's that too. 
Whatever that is. What is that? I really like that armchair. Um. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. I have faith in you. <laughs> Another one for the landfill. <laughs> And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have leave. permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Okay. Thank you, I guess. That's it. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Oh. Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same face. <laughs> okay. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Ooh, I was scared. I was so afraid that Marianne would ground me for the rest of my life. But she didn't, right? No. I remember her saying that that sufficiently adventurous play ensures that accidents will happen and that it wasn't a big deal. But still, no more tea parties inside. So we're still at that disconnect, right? On, on them remember, remembering her being awful, but, you know, the last few times they reminisced about her, not so awful. Hmm. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... It won't let me click! Oh, is it? Is it bugged out? I think, um... I think this popped up. At the same time that the look happened? Or oh, wait a minute. But not really. I get it. It's just weird I'm seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better, but I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off, which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right, what's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. Is that, was that Eddie? Oh man, I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, tomorrow, like I was saying. All right, I guess I don't get to look at the other pictures then. Okay. Was there, was there white sparkles? No. I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your sandwich.
out at first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, don't worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Ugh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Tessa didn't have that broom up her ass back then. What to do with this? Let's, uh, sell? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. I still don't understand the point of all this. Come on, honey, smile, like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. I wonder if that was from before with the picture. My I sister, think it was. The fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. I was never a fish person. Never ever. Hey, look what I found. What does What's that say? What's doing down here? Goblins were here. Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably hey, me. Allison. Come take a break with me. Is taking a break going to prevent me from finishing my chores? Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Uh, oh. Coffee, tea... Um, she's well, they, they talked about coffee earlier. So Would you rather cool. have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in. Mm hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? The Ice King is sending us a warning. Uh, excuse me? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. See, these aren't bad memories. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. On it! Oh, this kitchen drawer. See, I'm getting these weird lag spikes and whatnot. Hey, I don't Allison. know what it is. Let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods. That's in this good house, point. Until we showed up. The kids she ruined everything. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? So it's like... 
So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Uh, Book of Goblins? I don't, I don't know if I want to read all that. Here. Oh. Oh, okay. So wait. That's Sam. Eddie, and I guess that's Tessa? You go here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'd say... Eddie's the protector. He's the bear. The pelican is the provider. The one to make sure they're always eating. That would be Tessa. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. That's Tessa. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. Well, that sounds like done? Sam. What do you mean am I done? Settle down. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. Right, so this seems pretty obvious, don't, mm. isn't it? This one. Arno. He called him justice, lawful good. That makes it sound like the cop. Sam's a protector. I guess that could make sense, because Sam did come in with a shotgun, right? Or was it a rifle? I don't remember. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, what All do right. you think? I think I'm done. You sure? Uh, definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. Is this what about these story? guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Uh, he's scary. That's that's what I have to say about that. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. Mm. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! Okay, that's on? that's a little terrifying. I I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah, go back to the forest. So who is the mad hunter? And why can he see us right now? I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then. Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, I... Great. Whoa. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. Uh, We're not guy. done with this conversation. And I, I'm not done with the house either. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, <laughs> I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader, huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house.
It was your mom's favorite recipe. Damn. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. That's nice of him. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be okay. right behind you. See, Sam seems nice, you know? How many people would put forth the effort like he just did? Most people probably would. That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. Okay. Um. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor <laughs> studies. Oh, outdoor studies. Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really helped Marianne? Yeah. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I could never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Awkward angle. Uh, you still have our keys? Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance. So... What was that noise? Nope. We're good. Thank you. Fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Mm -hmm. Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Mm -hmm. the door is open now why are you guys marveling at the yeah, door handle uh, well, that's easy enough to fix now a fuse box oh no 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 you and you are going to clean up your mess I'll take care of the fuse box but I didn't do it I'm not asking go on wait can she fix fuse boxes everybody here can fix a fuse box all right fuses go into plugs should be easy enough Wait, what? What am I doing here? Main range, water heater, kitchen outlet lights. We're doing kitchen, right? Garage, heater. Right. Oh, Look at yeah, one. hold on. The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to send that part down. I ripped up your electrical board, it got to run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses for the garage, uh, amps total up to 120 amp for the whole house. Sam, uh, oh, that was Sam. Pretty proud of myself for once I've uh, respected the right color coding, each fuse should have the right color cable. Um, so 120 for the whole house, 15 for the garage. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. All right. Oh. So. You okay? Uh, yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball. Football? Do I have uh, unlimited of I, these? I have no idea. Damn, pull back around. Oh, till, till I got hurt. Yeah, that's rough. I think I'm missing a piece of information. Right? 
Like, how many of these fuses do I have? I'm just going to put it on willy-nilly, because I don't know. Hmm. That's 50. Fine. Problem must be the latch. 80. No shit. It's covered in rust. Yeah, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. Wait, that's not right. Sure you don't need a hand. Did I just pull hey, some I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note? Can I can I not interact with this? There it goes. That was weird. Okay, so um is 120 not including the garage? It says 120 for the whole house. The generator heater, does that count? I, I have no idea. It's just not clear is all. In also, all what do I have? I 60, 70, 80, down. so 40. So maybe I'll put a 20 here. Back together? I just want to check something. And a 20 hey, here. Uh, you two got any uh, bear insurance? What? Damn it. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful, you don't put a low amp in a high amp. Look, at, it's not doing it. I don't know why it's not, it's not doing anything. Just do the math, Allison. Okay. So I've got 30, 30, 60, 70, 80. That means I need 40. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? Hey now, watch yourself. We just oh, I don't like the controls at all. And oh my god, I didn't mm -hmm. want to do 20. Probably out of low drive too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. And oil in the spring. Let me be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. <laughs> That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Is that is that is that wrong? I don't really know what the game wants me to do here. It says here you have to use a 15 amp fuse for the garage which was already in amps total up to 128 amp for the whole house well whole house i would assume doesn't mean for the garage See that little silver bit it needs to be forced back onto the brass bit that's probably what was jamming it in the first place i don't know probably so you got a good head for this stuff yeah well i don't know i i feel like it's not giving me all the info so let's say I do a 30. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. Let's try this one. These things color coded. Huh. Don't budge. Is there any green? Is that the issue? Is that nope. I wasn't doing the color coding? Seems good. So wait, 30, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That wasn't 120 though. I don't know. That wasn't 120. I should have paid attention to the colors in the first place. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. it about you should know what are we gonna do with this wreck take it apart and sell the scrap uh sure be my guest be my guest but it sure looks like a pile of junk to me where you see junk i see dollars what we got here huh look at this i think this is where she made all our toys she was so crafty and she could draw Right and 
take pictures? She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I don't know what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Is that it? Okay. She's not, she's got some weird stuff out here. That's for sure. I wonder why Sam got so upset. What do you oh, mean you- He probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Uh, no. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Yeah, I'm that's what to say. It down later. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Don't be so deaf. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Uh... I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure not thing, funny. boy Allison, do you know who this is? Is that not Eddie? What did you find? Wait, who? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. Oh. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow. broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. Okay. Alright, before we go, I wanted to make sure I got everything. I think I did. Gotta look up at times, though. See, it feels all jittery. I don't know why. Like I said, my frames aren't dropping really at all. Memory. Okay. Come on, it's gonna get infected. Put the wolf pee on it. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Look, I had to make that call. What make what call? About? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. What is that noise that we keep hearing? Is there a road like right there? I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here. I am unsure what they Marianne. could be talking about. I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Oh, come on. I don't want to pick between... guesses. Oh, God. Wait. What are my choices then? I've only got this one. Is there a second one? What do you mean? I thought I was going to get a choice. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? 
pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. So what did he have to do? How do we do? keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was yeah. he doing here exactly? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I have no idea. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're a god. A damn hypocrite. Get out of here! Get out! Get why, out! Why would she call him a hypocrite? You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! I don't know, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm back to, you know, this is a coin flip. I, I, I have no idea Get what out. I'm choosing. Get out! Um, Get out. Get out. Whose memory did we choose last time? It was Allison's, a wasn't it? Hypocrite. Get out of here. All right, I'm going to go with Tyler's this time. You're it's a it's a coin flip for me. I don't I don't know the difference. Get out of here. Get off my property right now. So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. Okay. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Yeah, I was Fuck about to say. Trash. We didn't finish. 